What's up WordPress nerds? In this video, I'm gonna be going over how to make your forms more secure with WP nonces. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so what I wanna talk about today are WP nonces. And these are used to help solidify the security of your forms that you have on your site. You can use them for other things too, but mainly what you want to ensure here is that the user is intending to send this form. Now there's something called cross site request forgery. And this is like, you know, if somebody clicks on a link in an email and it wants to like delete their account or something like that. And it's like trying to get them to submit something through a URL. Um, we don't want that to happen. So what we do is we set up these nonce fields on forms. So that way we are knowing that the user is intending to submit this form. So I'm going to show you two things. Number one is how to create this nonce field on a form, which we have right here. And then I'm going to show you how to verify that nonce and then continue on with the form submission. And so what we have here is we just have a three field form with a username, email, and message. So this does not have any sort of nonce attached to it. This is just a naked form, if you will. So we're gonna have a username of Alex, alex at wpcasts.tv, and message of test message. And before I hit submit, I'm gonna open up the console and hit send. And so what this is going to do is this is going to go to the back end. It's going to do all the things that I've set up and send back a object, an object that has our response data in it. And so let me walk you through really quick, a little bit about what I have with the code on the front end. We just have a form with an ID of message form. We have a username, email and message um, form inputs. And then we have a button type of submit. We also have a form.js, which I'll include all of this code in the description on, on a GitHub repository for you. And then what we're doing is we are sending this to a, a special URL, wpadmin slash admin dash ajax.php question mark action equals send a message form. And so that's going to be sending it to an Ajax uh, action in WordPress and we're sending across our message form. It's going to get the response, turn it into JSON, and then we're going to console log that JSON. So when it submits the form, all we're doing is we're just sending back a JSON success with the post data in it. So this is where we're going to be verifying the form, but we also need to set up the nonce field. So what we're, that's, we're actually going to be doing that first. So typically when you want to set up a nonce, you want to find where you, I usually like to leave it at the, the second to last thing in the form just before the submit button. And so you're going to open up some PHP tags and you're going to type WP nonce field. And I'm going to just let it auto complete for us just so I can show you the parameters. So WP nonce field takes in a handful of things. Now, first of all, you could leave this blank and it would work just fine. However, for added security, you typically want to fill out at least the first two. So action and name. After that, you have refer, which will output a secondary field. And then echo means you want to actually echo out the nonce field, which we want it defaults to true. So we're going to want to leave these two as true because we want those to be in there. And then we have action and name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change action to the name of the action that we are sending this to, which is send message form. So I'm going to replace action right here with send message form. And then name is anything that you want. It's just something that identifies the nonce. So I'm just going to call this an abbreviated version of send message form, send message form. And then we do a hyphen then nonce. And so if we save that and then go back to our browser, I'm going to refresh the page. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the source code and see if it has done anything for us. So I have my form and down here at the bottom, we now have two new additional inputs. 
The one is um, SMF, SMF nonce, and the other one is HTTP referrer. And so both of these were created by that PHP function. And so this value that is created inside of the SMF nonce is something that uh, WordPress has generated for us. And that is our nonce. That's the thing that we are going to use to identify this form submission on the back end. And so when we send this along, we should receive that on the other side. So let's take a look at what happens when we send this form. Let's do Alex, alex at alex.com, test message, and I'm gonna hit send. So we get our JSON response, and we get our data object. And so now this is coming along with our um, nonce and our refer. So now this data is coming along with our post request, which is exactly what we want. So let's go back to our code and then let's verify that this nonce is correct. All right, so we have our form handler.php. And so what we wanna do is we wanna verify that this nonce is correct. So what we need to do is do a couple of checks. So we're gonna start out with an if statement. And so the first thing that we wanna check to see if that nonce that we saw in our console is actually set in the post array. So we're gonna do if it's not set, and we're gonna do dollar underscore post smf dash nonce, and then we're gonna do an or statement. And so let's act, oh, not inside of there, an or statement. And so we're gonna drop this down just to kind of make things a little bit cleaner. And then we're going to do WP verify nonce. And so what you'll notice is that these two parameters that it's asking for are similar to the things that it was asking for here. In fact, it's just the same. They're just swapped in order. This one is asking for the action first and then the, and then the nonce second. And then this is asking for the nonce first and the action second. So go figure why that why that's the case. But we want to make sure that this is not verified if we're gonna do something with it. So the first thing that we wanna check is we wanna check to see if that nonce comes through, and then we're gonna check to see if um, we're on the correct action. So let's also take this action, send a message form, and then let's paste that in right here inside of some single quotes. And so if Neither, either one of those doesn't pass. We're gonna just send back a WP uh, JSON error. WP send JSON error, we're gonna give it an array and that array is gonna have a message that just says something fishy going on. And we're just gonna have a semicolon there. And so if either one of these things goes wrong, we're gonna stop immediately what we're doing and then just exit out. That's what these WP send JSON error next successes are going to be doing. In this case, it's going to throw an error and exit the, the process. So we have that set up. Let's go ahead and verify it. So let's refresh this page and then type in a new user test at test.com test message. And before we hit send, let's open up our console and then hit send. So the JSON response here is success is true. Everything came over excellently. Um, and then, so let's test out um, when things would not go well. So uh, there's a couple of ways that we could test this. Let's do kind of a interesting one is just kind of change what this value is. Test, test at test.com and a new message, test message. Let's look at our console. We're gonna hit send. We have a JSON response, and it says that the success is false. Something fishy is going on. So one other way that we could uh, test this in a little bit more of a realistic way is that we could just try and, you know, like if some, like a realistic scenario of somebody trying to um, do something harmful to one of your users would be to put a link in an email and they click it and it would it would do something. Let's say that this wasn't like a, a message form. Say this was, you know, delete my account form and put in your username, email and a message saying why you don't want to have your account anymore and then submit it. 
Well, what you would do is you would have slash WP dash admin, and then kind of what we have here, hopefully I can zoom in on this for you, is we have our username, our email, our message, and the action that it's associated with, and we could hit send. However, it's going to say that something fishy is going on because we clicked that link in that email, but it doesn't have the correct nonce. It didn't, WordPress never generated that nonce for our user. So they're not intentionally sending anything. So therefore we're going to kill the process. So I hope that you found this video useful. I hope that you can be implementing this on your themes or plugins. It's honestly essential to the security and the well-being of your users on your site. So if you liked the video, give it a like. If uh, you think that I could have improved something in this code, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm always looking to learn. Um, I want to thank my patrons who support me um, at this time. Uh, their names are right up here. Uh, thanks to each one of them. It means a lot. Um, but thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.